How's it going everybody? We got the brand new LiveScope Plus LVS34 transducer and black box kit. I just got this a couple days ago. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to do an unboxing today. Let's jump in. All right, so here we have the box. It comes in just a white Garmin box. It looks like they're not doing a, a ton. I think they have some fancier boxes they usually use, but with demand nowadays, they probably don't need anything fancier than this. But as we can see here, it says Panoptics Live Scope Plus System, forward, down, and perspective looking sonar system with mounting hardware. Let's get into the box. I don't think we really care too much about the outside. Of course, we've got serial numbers and stuff at the top here. Then we've got the black box itself, the first thing inside of the box with some normal foam stuff. I have not opened this before, so you guys are seeing this the same time as I am. It is the GLS-10 black box, the exact same as the one that we're used to seeing. So nothing fancy there. Looks like uh, underneath here, we got a few different things. It's like an accessory bag. Let's get to the good stuff first, huh? So here it is. This is the LiveScope LVS 34 transducer. Let's check this thing out. It's actually a lot lighter than I feel like the other one is. I'll grab it here at the end of this video and we'll kind of do a little side-by-side -side view of it. But you can see it's got the through hole all the way through so you can mount it on either side of your pole or your trolling motor that's really nice and then we've got the longer transducer beam surfaces there and then this is what appears to be yep the same cable type as the lvs 32 if so as you know they came out with a second generation with the single cord instead of the two wires coming out of the lvs 32 this is using that exact same new very flexible shouldn't have any issues i hope with this thing uh breaking you got the whole wire cord here of course your normal connector end here that goes directly into your port on the black box which is right here your deucer we got this nice little short guy here so this is your network cable so you can see the pins inside of there and then your network cable this is what plugs into the network port and then into the back of your screen. All right, and now we've got the ferrite bead. This goes on your transducer cable to help prevent interference. It just clips right onto it. Boom, just like that. We've got what looks like our power cord here. So power plug that goes into the black box. Let's take this thing out of the bag, huh? And then you've got your red side and your black side of the wire to go to your positive and negative on your battery and it looks like they've probably got an inline seven and a half amp fuse then it looks like they give you another network cable here so in case you want to use this it looks like it's got the two male ends on it uh, with the pins rather than a network cable and then we've got the ends for the cable with the o-ring to put it together some screws these look like four yep phillips had stainless steel screws so that you can mount your black box here in each of the corners. And then it looks like we've got a goodie bag. This is probably mounting accessories for the live scope transducer. It looks like they're lettered here too. So we've got letter A. This is our perspective mode bracket, really nice. Previously, you had to buy Garmin's uh, perspective mode mount if you wanted it for the LVS32. For the LVS34, the live scope plus that we're talking about today in unboxing, this comes with it. So this is one of the pieces that you're gonna use in conjunction with, this goes on one side of your pole or trolling motor mount, and then this somehow lines up, not like that, probably like this or something like that, so that you can uh, mount this, and then you can either go this direction, this direction, or there's another attachment in here to make it go down as well. And then you've got your knob and washer here so everything can screw together for your mount. We'll do an assembly video of how all of this goes together uh, coming up here soon. I'm going to be mounting it to my ice fishing pole first and then we're going to go ahead and get it onto the kayak this year. So in the B bag, we've got the other side of what would be the attachment to the transducer pole or whatever pole you're going to be using. So that's what this is. 
and it looks like it comes with the four screws as well. Another knob here. So this is a longer knob than this one. So they give you both a short and a long knob. And it looks like they give you, this is to help grip a pole if you're wrapping it around a pole. This usually goes inside of something like this so that it doesn't slip up and down. They give you your Allen wrench and then they give you another one of the rubber washers to help make everything work better. We've got a big hose clamp here. So this would be if you're gonna attach it directly onto your trolling motor head. And then it looks like you've got another bracket here which works with this. It's got a strap hole. You can kind of see it says up on it, but you've got these notches here where this hose clamp actually would go through the top and the bottom. And then this is what would attach onto like your trolling motor head or, or whatever else you want to attach it to. All right, and then E, another one of these guys, it's a little bit different than what we originally had. So we'll have to see, they both say up, they're inverted angles it looks like. So that's good to know. And then F, we've got another sc couple screws and washers there. We've got the LiveScope Plus LVS34 installation instructions, which we're not gonna go through here. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of these two transducers. So again, LVS34, LVS32 transducers. One side here, you can tell it's a little bit longer. So we can see if we look at the back of the transducers, pretty comparable in size actually. This one's, the LVS32 is a little bit chunkier. LVS34 appears to be not quite as tall depth-wise if we look straight down at it. And then side by side, you can definitely tell the LVS34 is much longer. And you can see if we stack the transducers on top of each other, line up the back of them, you can actually see how much longer the LVS34 is and that it's a rectangular shape versus this kind of triangular shape. And then the front of the units here, we can see not a ton of difference. And then the other side of the units where we've got just the one screw hole here and then the through hole to be able to use on both sides on this guy. So here they are, LVS32, which I'm gonna continue to use this year, at least for quite a while while I do side-by-side -side comparisons of the LVS34. This thing is still gonna be a rock star in my lineup for now. Um, I may get creative with it too, rather than getting rid of it. I may actually use it as a secondary angle or maybe keep one in forward, one in down or one in perspective and one in forward or have two forward angles so I can get a, a wider double angle. There's a lot that we're gonna be able to do, especially since I can do split screen on my Garmin units. Please let me know down in the comments what you wanna see me do with this thing. What comparisons you wanna to see to the LVS32 what you want to see for ice fishing, open water, mounts, everything. So lots of really good stuff coming up here. So stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching all the way till the end. And check out this other video on the screen that I think you're going to like. Take it easy.